Total War Warhammer 3 Patch 2.4 welcomes a few new adjustments to the game, and a particularly big one. We have now unlocked Immortal Empires for all Total War Warhammer 3 players. This means you no longer require Warhammer 1 and Warhammer 2 to start your own campaigns. Alongside this, we have enabled the freedom to purchase any DLC from our back catalogue that you may wish to unleash onto the battlefield. You will be able to play as any of the base factions from Warhammer 3, including the Demons of Chaos, Grand Café, Korn, Kislev, Nurgle, Slanesh, and Siege. All of the other races and factions from the series will be present on the map, but controlled by the AI. If you do already own Warhammer 1 or Warhammer 2, the races from those titles that you do own will also be available for you to play as, alongside any DLC you may have purchased. Ownership of Warhammer 3 will be required for access to Immortal Empires regardless. We want our players to have the core Total War Warhammer experience, and with the Warhammer world at your fingertips, total domination is within your grasp. And that's not all. Extra quality of life changes and bug fixes are coming, which include... Karak 8 Peaks is now a 10 slot settlement for the Skaven, as intended. Malice's quest battle for the Warpstone of Cain is now in the Chaos Wastes, closer to his starting position. Fixes for a variety of graphical glitches, including clipping capes, snapping models, and broken animations and more. We fixed a multiplayer desync that could occur when an Empire player used the Summon the Elector Counts button. The Citadel of Lead now displays the correct buildings when occupied by the Warriors of Chaos. Dreitcher's Codil quest and Tyrion's Sunfang quest have been fixed when launched from campaigns. And garrisons have been given a kick up the bum and now enter the battle from the very start, as opposed to being reinforcements. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the barrier lifting of Immortal Empires, so do comment below if it's something you're excited for. We have also updated the Immortal Empires FAQ to cover any further questions about the update. To read the full list of changes in Patch 2.4, check out our website. <laughs>